would you just get with the program already? Hey guys, and it's time for another installment of Book Bitties! Though technically this could be considered the first installment of Book Bitties because that's the first time that I'm calling it that, though I've done other book reviews before and I've... Just go with it, it's something that's happening. I recently picked up the book The Program by Suzanne Young. And since doing so, I've read The Program by Suzanne Young. And so today I'm going to review The Program by Suzanne Young for you. You get the program? Puns, 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 puns. Let's start off with a handy synopsis. The book follows a 17-year-old girl named Sloane who lives in a world where suicide is an international epidemic. One out of three teens will commit suicide and depression is literally contagious. It's something that you can catch instantaneously and in less than two weeks it can escalate to the point where you want to kill yourself. A terrifying thought to say the least. Because of this very severe statistic, the American government in the book has come up with a cure, quote unquote, for the epidemic called the program. Essentially, if you are under the age of 18, which Sloan in the book is, you are daily monitored through school, through home, through parents to make sure that your mood and behavior has not changed in a way where they think you may have depression. Essentially, everyone is under constant surveillance and if they think that you might have depression, you will be flagged. And here comes the truly scary part. If you are flagged by the program, handlers come and you have no choice but to go to a facility where they will remove any memories from you that they think could have fueled your depression. Which means when you leave the program or are a returner, you aren't really yourself. That's the cure to depression. So again, the book tracks Sloane who has to deal with friends having depression, family members having depression, wondering if she has depression, and wondering if the program really works. And even if it does, doing everything she possibly can to avoid it. And that's the book, The Program. So there are a lot of reasons why I loved this book. Firstly, because let's go over some scary real world statistics. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, for youth between the ages of 10 and 24, suicide is the third leading cause of death. That number is not small. So the program, for obvious reasons, is extremely thought-provoking. Because while obviously in our world depression is not contagious, suicide is a real thing. And it is a serious topic that is constantly under discussion. Would our government make the same decision? That brings me to another thing that I loved about this book. The reader and the characters in the book never really know if the program is a bad thing or a good thing. Because in all senses of the world, the program does work. Nobody dies in the treatments, and nobody's depressed when they leave. It works! But the thing that Sloane and the rest of the characters deal with in the book is that while they're saving a life, they're giving you back a life that is half-lived. The returners return confused, kind of socially awkward, and just having very few memories of who they were before. And there's nowhere that these kids can really turn to because their parents are just being concerned parents. They're just trying to cure their kids like they would if you had the flu. And it's a really interesting debate that goes on throughout the entire book and that you don't really know how you feel about even when it's ended. And speaking of feelings, this book deals a lot with if you lose a memory, will you ever really lose the feeling that was connotated with that memory? For example, if they made me forget my sister Jenna, if forget that she ever lived or forget that she and I ever loved one another, would I feel a gap there or would I just move on? And say Jenna weren't dead or they just found her to be someone that fueled my depression, when I saw Jenna again, would I have those feelings for her? Would something in my memory go, hey, there's a feeling for that person. And this kind of leads into, does history repeat itself? If our memories were erased but we are still the same person, would we do it all over again the same way? It's just such an interesting theory because if you're around the same group of people but you've just been erased, is the same thing gonna happen all over again? You're still the same person you were, you just don't have those experiences and memories, but neither do the people around you. Overall, this book is a very socially interesting book. Also, Suzanne Young, can I be in the movie adaptation of this book? I can be Sloane, I can be Lacey, I'll dye my hair blonde for Lacey, I'll do it. This book was filled with raw emotion, young love, young depression. It dealt with all of these things that are so real and tangible in our world right now 
out. And that's the program. In two weeks, the sequel comes out. There's a sequel to the book. The story continues. Anyway, be sure to leave a comment on what book I should read next while I'm waiting for the treatment, the sequel, to get on its way. And also let me know if you've read this book or if you do end up reading this book. I hope you guys are having a great night and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! I'm gonna go upload this to my iMovie program. It's still happening. It's still happening. It's still happening. Am I out of frame yet? Now I am. It's time for a bitty talk back where I talk back to you, yeah. I, but, what, how? I'm glad that you find this amusing. And of course I remember you, Zoe, aka Baby Tessa Netting.